Welcome back to my YouTube channel Hazi Productions and today we're going to do some of the some of the rarest questions in practical IGCAC ICT exam regarding labels. It this question appeared in uh, in this paper October November 2014 paper 2. Okay? Produce a report which contains this. Now, just like creating a report we must have a query. It's like query wizard now. Then it's like simple query wizard. It's like all fields. Okay. Now for labels, I mean for for reports, the reports title will be similar to the queries title, but for labels, I think no. So because of that, we'll just type query um, thirty thirty two. Okay, 32, eh? not 32, sorry, it's 34. Just follow the step number, modify the code design, and here we go. Great. Contains a new field called retail price, which is calculated at runtime. This field calculates the cost price plus 20%. Okay, so select the empty space, select builder and type in the new field so you remember you, just, you press the colon button the colon will tell Excel that next afterward is going to be a calculation okay the cal will, this field will calculate the cost price by 20% increments so cost price so the cost price field which is the original cost price then it is increased by 20 percent thus okay check now what's 20 of 100 when it comes to decimal it's basically 0 0.2 times the cost price once again which basically means this cost price okay has some sort of like a GST we we'll call it which means the cost price has a bit of an increased the cost price is increased by 20% okay so it's something like this that's what the question means so press ok and uh, when you run it should be like this Alhamdulillah. shows only wireless or dual connected gaming mice okay wired dual is in the connection field so what we're gonna do is from wireless and dual is in the connection uh, field so we'll type wireless or dual and uh, that's that wireless do connected gaming mice gaming is here it's a boolean logical field so for gaming and it's gaming, so say yes. Of course, then you should displace it like this. Okay. Set sorted to descending order of retail price. Then it should descend. Okay, if it's one page, then it's okay. So yeah, show only fields make model connection to press and known. And it's gonna be better if you arrange your fields in this kind of order. So make model connection retail price. Now we don't need gaming. Stock uh, not reorder notes. Uh, I think we'll make notes the last because it's a long field. So uh, we'll make it no and then we'll put notes after the retail price field become any of this then we can start creating labels with this we can basically create labels so go to create select labels from the report section yeah we'll just save it okay here's the thing it's asking us to basically have two labels side by side and eight labels to the page we want two labels, so you will want to select C2166 or C2244. Now, 
we'll just use C224 because they are slightly deeper slightly uh, deeper than the C2166 you can see the dimensions over there so we'll just select something deeper which like that, C2244 now uh, yeah, I don't need to care about that here we come okay over here increase the title mice for games at the top of each label so we'll just type mice for gamers done then next here's the thing you need to pay attention okay before you type it before you click in those fields here we need to type in the field we need to type the field right type in I mean type in the name that is similar to the field that we're about to click soon so before we click the make field, we need to type in the name of that field itself. Make, then we select that. Then it sounds proper because when you select make, some sort of like a merging, some sort of like a merge. So if I say make, after that make, this after this make, then at this point it will select either Logitech or laser, or razor. Okay, that's what I mean. Okay, then it's the same thing for the rest. Type in the name, the field you got to click, and click in that field. And you repeat that for another three more fields. Okay, for what for pro, for uh, fields we have which has the underscore. We don't need that. It sounds neat and tidy. And then the notes. Oh, and then before that, has your name set and date number at the bottom of each label, which means type in your uh, name, center and candidate. Okay, done. Then, uh, I'll just leave it like this. Labels, yeah. There it is. Now, of course we need some formatting okay label format with two sets now let's check the print preview oh it doesn't seem right we need to do some editings first off we need a suitable text to identify the field so we're basically oh increase font size so selecting this okay you need some more room or uh, you select this make some more room so that you can have more feet you can have some more room to enlarge in this field to enlarge in this text box so format this and make it make it big okay like a 14 maybe then i'll make it bold to really indicate that that's the title of the label okay so it shows suitable text to identify the fields so I'll do that. So uh, let's get back to our print preview. Should be something like this. Okay. Then. Okay. Two labels, but it's labels to the page. Back to our print preview, it shows six only. The reason why it does that is because we have too many rooms here. It's so simple to solve this problem. Just shrink that big wide area, the area. Then we have eight labels, eight labels to the page. You can make it neater if you want to by adding more gaps. Then it should be consistent and neat. Right? Oh wait, uh, this one is not completely shown. Yeah, I think that's that's okay. Make sure, make sure your notes, okay, must be shown except for some. Sometimes some uh, some records don't have notes, which is fine. But make sure that every data shown must be shown. Use make sure you must have some space, okay, to clearly show the notes.
and uh, you're good to go. Okay. And by the way, I must also set, I must also format the retail price, obviously. And uh, by using these guidelines here, Eero set to two decimal place, you basically need to format that. Okay. When, maybe when you want to get the, that Eero's and all that kind of stuff, you must do it before, alright? You must do that before. Retail price should actually be formatted here. You need to format this earlier. Okay. By selecting this, property sheet. From this to euros, just place the two, and it formats it correctly. Then you you do it for this. Okay, don't format don't format your the currencies at the labeling. You must format at the query. Okay, I made a mistake there. Anyways, that's all about for labelings, and I hope you can get the info regarding that. Thank you so much for your attention. And uh, I'll leave you for Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullah.